见对方。That girl over there, yeah, the one with the curly hair. She got a bad reputation, boy. She ain't me. She got a bad reputation, boy. She ain't me. Red lips, long legs, little boy, but around the way she got a bad reputation, boy. She ain't me. She got a bad reputation, boy. She ain't me. She got a bad reputation. Oh 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 oh, she got a bad reputation. Oh 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 oh. Playing music puts you in a very vulnerable position, and sometimes not everybody. Everyone has different opinions and different tastes, and. Even with like recording styles or different bands you like, you know, ev everyone is so opinionated. Um, so we just have to always keep doing what we're doing. Um, and if someone, you know, gets something out of that, that's, you know, what's what's great for us. And yeah, it's not going to be for everybody, but we l we love playing it. And when it does move someone, then it it means a lot. <laughs> I love playing music with these guys. We have something very special. Um, it's something about live music that it's a feeling that you're going to get when you're performing that you don't get anywhere else and um that feeling is what i'm always trying to attain and, and that it's an adrenaline rush um and it's, it's magical so that's that's why i love playing music that's why i keep doing it run around to know how with familiar faces I used to know Try and get high As the clouds Midwest kids with Midwest charm Jumping fences, breaking arms Laughing like the good times never stop Lovers come and lovers go And a few down the road, how they flicker in the night of my mind. Take the right, take the left, take the path you love the best, blindfolded. Be in their life. Like a train, I know. But everything fades Picking pumpkins, dancing bars Feeling the sunlight on our arms Reading poetry in bed I tell you if you tell me I got more secrets than a girl could keep this good memory that just a kiss in the dark like a train But everything you face Like a train Running around
Hampton, Ohio, Athens County. I hope you know how you change my soul and unchain my heart. You made me crazy, you made me sad. You the best damn friend a girl could have with your ghost lit hills and untuned guitars. Yeah.
songwriting process for us always varies. Um, we have a lot of songs where I'll write a song, I'll start a song on acoustic guitar, have, you know, basically it already written out in its basic form. Um, then I'll bring it to the guys and we'll all just kind of sit around and play and see what happens. And they'll have ideas and it starts growing from there. Um, a lot of times even we'll test it out at different live shows and um, mainly work arrangements and tones. That's what we focus on. Um, but songwriting varies. Sometimes I'll come up with a song in the shower <laughs> or something where it's just or in a dream. I just have like a um, one melody that comes to mind. Um, and then I'll be like, come up to Chris first and be like, hey, what key is this in? Or like, is this possible? Like, can you play this? And then we bring it to the band. And um, and we're trying to even do some more experimental things on our next record. Um, just trying new things to kind of keep songwriting exciting and, um, and a fun thing to mess with. Uh, just where we're all going to be playing and see what happens and maybe have them start first and uh we use like we have a a massive like amount of ideas in mm. our in our group text messages actually that's where a lot of our ideas kind of get passed around um like they'll send me a file that's just them playing and say hey what do you think about this maybe try something on drums and i'll try something on drums and pass it back to them and we definitely i mean we're we use technology a ton to, to do that, but. Luxury of modern songwriting. Yeah. <laughs> Just like email someone a file. Hey, this is what we're working on. And Yeah. 
to a lot of 70s music I've I don't know why it never um well when I grew up I was listening to a lot of a lot of like 50s music too and uh, we all have wide a wide variety of tastes um but when we come together I think our style of playing kind of meshes and it tends to sound like that and it hasn't always it's it's grown it was a lot more folk oriented when we started as a band and we had a lot of train beats and things have gotten push further we've gotten a lot more psychedelic on some of our songs um and we've been just listening to a lot of music um uh but yeah, i mean it's a great era you know not that we don't want to be stuck in that we don't want to be like just you know but there's a lot of influence i think it's the influence of music we listen to always oh, got me on the ground Always got me on the ground And my heart it just pounds Always got me on the ground They leave the heart and they be They leave the heart and they be Keeps on stinging me. The little honey bee. He's got me where he wants me. Got me where he wants me right now. He's a rock and rolly shade. Shaking, shaking me up. Oh, you know I can't sleep. Oh, you know I can't sleep. Cause it's in my dreams. Oh, you know. He's got me where he wants me, got me where he wants me right now. He's a rock and roll, he's shaking, shaking, shaking. One thing that's changed a little bit is there's a lot of music out there. So technology, and I know it's controversial, but we're exposed to a lot more music, and that really helps, you know, for us in the writing process. But the, the, its foundation, typically Angela, with an acoustic guitar, writes a song and brings it to us the next day almost, and then 
we start playing it, working it, trying to make it flow. And originally when we met, it was, you know, we, had, we heard Angela's music. We really were inspired by it. We got together and just started playing the songs that she had already written bes before she had met us. But as we've grown close as a band, um, she started writing songs with us in mind. You know, she's, she's inspired by us. We drive around, like I said, in the van. We listen to music. We know what we, each person likes. She, you know, we share music with her that she likes, and then that inspires her. So I think Jeff was right about technology as far as moving things around. And we did experiment with that a little bit, like in Hurricane. But, but for the most part, I mean, I can play you the Hurricane the night that she wrote it. And it's very similar to how it turned out. I mean, obviously, we had intros. We had riffs. Billy comes up with some great ideas on bass. Maybe we'll start a song. You know, she's got this lyric and this this um, core fent this core idea, and then Billy will come up with this like, "Hey, let's do this thing." He's got this like Motown riff that'll start, and it brings some excitement to us. Um, but you know, te technology it's it's important. But th at the end of the day, she's sitting there with an acoustic guitar writing a song. <laughs> Come on, daddy, give me something real Show me how you really feel You've been telling him how I'll make me starve Yeah, 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 yeah You and I, you know we are the same Two out here to the different kind She can take you from night and I can't say goodbye Yeah, 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 yeah I've played around a lot, and so have these guys. I mean, if we played some of the stuff we played, 
behind a normal like some songwriters they just turn around and go you get out of here so she gives us the freedom to to screw around a lot <laughs> and it's worked out so yeah and it took a little while because um you know we first started she was a, it was a, she was a songwriter she is a songwriter but you know we got to make sure that we're taking care of the song there's a responsibility there as a guitar player i can't just it's more important to me to make sure the song is preserved to honor her vision of the song so that's a skill that i'm trying to pursue but in the meantime you know i do li i love the 70s so and bill and bill zanel and i have been we're playing music together before we even met angela and she we've baby. played all yeah we've been playing <laughs> so actually actually that's helped the connection between bill and i has helped um with our band but um the more we've spent time together the more i i've been able to cut loose a little bit without you know, her offending the song, and she's actually, the more time we spend together, she actually writes songs, or, you know, she knows what what we feel, and she will deliver songs, we inspire her, and then all of a sudden she's writing a song, it's like, that's the greatest song I've ever heard, I cannot wait to play guitar on this song, gives it gives us the freedom to cut loose a little bit, so, and I think love, some, of those trust, 70s yeah. those, some of those 70s sounds have come out in that. It's in us, we can't, we grew up there, we can't help it. <laughs> But it ultimately, it's love, trust, and respect. That's why it works. Yeah. In the middle of the night, when wildflowers close. It's in my fingers, runs through my blood And no man will ever come close tonight Cause I'm running, I'm running into cars Can't fool me Shame, shame, shame on you. You really, yeah, yeah, you just made. Oh, I ain't got time for you. I'm moving on to other things. Oh. 
was as soon as we walked in here, we knew we were like, wow, this has a very intimate. It's an intimate room. Um, we all got to mingle before the show. We got to talk. We, that to us, uh, making a personal con connection with people is the most important thing about. That's one of the. Obviously, music, it's somewhat of a selfish thing because we're playing music and we just love to do it. Um, but the, the plus side is getting to meet all these wonderful people. Um, and you take that everywhere you go. Everywhere we go and we travel to, we, we meet new people. And we, we never forget those people. And, we, we, and then they become a network of friends all, th all throughout the country. We have, you know, we come to a town one time, we make some connections, we come back. It's like, the scene we see start seeing similar faces familiar faces and it makes us feel, us feel very comfortable and happy and um, those are new friends we have yeah. so it's a very special experience and this is a this is a wonderful room wonderful environment um, we felt very comfortable and warm here so this is very special yeah, thank you for having us yeah the decor is incredible <laughs> yeah. we, feel, we feel very happy <laughs> here um, and then also you, you're very excited about music. When you come in here, it's infectious. There's other people here that are excited about music, and we are too, so we feel a connection with people immediately that are like us in that respect. <laughs> That's all cool, but that a barn is better than I ever need you just on the road, road I'm over to you Just wanna roll, roll, roll 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 Picture show, you held my hand in a whisper. Oh, said, Angel, baby, I love you true. I just want to spend all my time with you. Just want to roll, roll on over to you. Well, I kept ever not shaking me. I your loving it, choke me crazy. I don't care where I go, I'm just looking for you at the end of the road. Just want to roll. Roll on over to you Just wanna roll, roll, roll 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 Just wanna roll Roll on over to you Just 
shows is just to have felt something um, and to have been touched in some way whether um, whether it's that our songs moved you and in, in whatever way they, they did that that is what uh, makes us um, that's what really I guess gets across to us and it, wh what I get out of it I think <laughs> people should maybe just come with an open mind and heart and absorb what they do and walk away with whatever they do. Right. It's just we're being honest and uh, hopefully people realize that and they walk away and honestly appreciate that. One, two, three, four. See the girl over there. Yeah, the one with the Kelly. Hey, she got a bad reputation for she got a bad reputation for cheating. Red lips, long legs, little boy, you better run away. She got a bad reputation for cheating. She got a bad reputation for cheating. She got a bad reputation. Oh, 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 oh. She got a bad reputation. Oh, 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 oh. Lord on high, heaven and hell, we're from wondering now she got a bad reputation for cheating. She got a bad reputation for cheating. High heels, short skirt, miss me girl, put you to work. She got a bad reputation for cheating. She got a bad reputation for cheating. She got a bad reputation. She got a bad reputation. Oh, 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 oh. She got a bad reputation. Oh, 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 oh. She got a bad reputation. Oh, 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 oh.
songs that we have on the Hey Kid record, we played those songs for about, I'd say a year and a half to two years as a band before we even recorded and we were dying to record those songs. And over the course of that time, you start, you, you hone it. You, you, um, we're actually, we're fearful of recording a song right when it's written because we know how much it grows over the course of a year, two years. And we know that even songs that we write or that she writes and then we work out. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we, ju we just, we know that um, they're gonna grow over time. So we wanna make sure that uh, if we record something pretty quickly, it's gonna change over the year. And now, over a course of a year, now it's not the same that it was on the record. So, um, but that was one of the cool things about the last record mm. was that the songs were able to grow. So we're, we're hoping to get new songs and start playing those a lot before we go into the studio. And then obviously when you go in the studio, you start, like tonight, you're very aware that things are being recorded and it's gonna be pretty permanent. So you, you think about the intros, like the, how the song's gonna start, how it's gonna end, is there gonna be a little, you start thinking about the, the little details of, of a song. Um, and that's part of the recording process too. You know, you're sitting there, you have, I mean, we had technology in here tonight with you back you know, working the soundboard and you're recording things. You're, you can tell whether, whether the wave, waveform's coming in right. So, um, I mean, technology is amazing.
ladies and drinking this tears all down my clothes. do have a connection with a lot of people that come to our shows and we've made a lot of great friends just because I guess we're you know we're playing music that we feel and that we love and if it touches somebody then we have something in common and typically that's that starts a conversation and we've made incredible amounts of friends just playing music and you know people that enjoy our music um, we've gotten really close with so hopefully just some friendship as well if that's possible. I mean, what was it like last week? We were in what city is this? Asheville. We met these guys at our show, and they just loved. Like we had a nice, we had a cool connection built with them because they. St I mean, we played a three-hour set, and they stayed the whole time. <laughs> That's a lot of music to watch. I don't care what band you're watching. <laughs> and I mean, I think we hung out with these guys. They live down the street from the venue. We hung out with them till four in the morning, I think. And I mean, they that's like they had a dog named Gatorade, <laughs> and <laughs> like. These like they that's giving us their clothes. Next time we go to Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, those are the guys we're calling to say, "Hey, we're back. We want to hang out." Um, so that's the kind of Chris stuff and I had hats on, and they had some hats. And they're like, "You got? We got some hats. If you want some hats, we yeah. I have this hat I don't wear." Like we're like, "No, it's okay." And they gave them trying to give us records, <laughs> and yeah, it was really f you know that that connection that we make with people is um, undescribable. That's all cool, but that a barn is better as I ever need. Just wanna roll, roll on. 